Happy Fourth of July, everybody. It's uh, kind of cloudy looking here in the land of Rancho Max, but we're going to try to go for a spin here in a few minutes, me and the Mumbles man. A couple of guys went yesterday, didn't have much luck. Some stainless steel rings and stuff like that. Somebody wanted to share the way we carry our scoops or draggers or whatever you want to call them. Well, first off, let's say that this thing has progressed through many years of trial and error. Scoop draggers. Back in the early 2000s, we used big, heavy stainless steel scoops. All stainless steel, the handle, everything. They work great, but my God, were they heavy. Anyway, we got tired of dra carrying them, so we, we started dragging them. Or cradling them. This is the original, one of the original ones I have left. I don't use it anymore. We took a piece of plastic chemical barrel or trash barrel or whatever you want. You can see it's kind of thick. We mounted different ways to get it on our belt. This used to have a top on it, so it would slide back and forth if you wanted to move it. Then I finally found where I wanted it, and I bolted it in place. The plastic barrel kept the scoop from dragging, hitting against your leg. As you can see, it would rub right here and right on here. We took a stainless steel screw, we stuck it in there, I mean a bolt. We turned it over and we heated it and we bent it. But it, we never could get it to really stay firm in, in one place. Sometimes after a while it would move around. Alright, then... Some of us... Here's one with the loops already on it, hanging on the belt. And you can see, like I said, the scoop would drag right here. There's the original one, this one right here. And then some of us added a stainless steel u-bolt that way we could close it up if we didn't want it to use it we could hang the scoop on this part or we could just cradle the scoop in here and uh, it worked really good nice it was a pretty good concoction of different things we had tried over the years many tried this rig right here and I still have a brand new one. They keep it in my relic pouch. This would hang on your belt, of course. And you could cradle your scoop in there. Works good for dirt digging. Shovel hangs right there or whatever you dig with in the dirt. Only problem was right here, working in the salt water, after about two weeks, three weeks, that piece right there would rust right off. And you were left with just this part. <laughs> this was gone. No good. But this ain't a bad ticket for drills and stuff, you know, and work belt stuff. And like I said, for dirt digging, it works fine. Uh, we've had lots of variations of this over the years. This used to be small. This used to be only like this big. And this would be the nut and all that hung this week. But then it would rub on your leg, so we made it bigger to keep it from rubbing on your leg. And that couldn't have been any better. That worked good. We put the holes in it when we worked in the water, so the water would go, you know, in and out of it. And then a fellow in California, borderline engineering, I think, he wanted to manufacture some, some from scoops, I mean, some draggers to sell. So here's one of his, made out of nice, kind of thick material. Uh, when he got cold, he got brittle and it would break off. The Mumbles man uses one of these today, right now. His never broke. I don't know why mine broke, but it did. But anyway, I'll send you the link today. He's, I'm, I'm sure he still makes these. And it's, it's a nice a scoop dragger. I don't remember what it cost or anything, but 
you can see it's a nice taquita. Well, then our buddy the fast man, you know, he's a stainless steel welder. He made us some nice stainless steel draggers or cradlers, however you want to do it. And that's what we use now, a lot of us, the ones that he made them for anyway. The first ones he made, he put this on a swivel, like that one I showed you in the back, so you could lay this left or right if you didn't want to use it. But then we uh, told him, said, no, go ahead and weld them up solid. So that's what you get. That's what we all use, not all of us, that's what most of us use now every day or when we go. Stainless steel scoop dragger by the fast man. That's all the evolution I can share with you. But it works good for dragging your or cradling your scoop. California. You see he makes all different size scoops and shapes configurations. I'm not sure where in California, I forgot. It's trying to rain on our parade. Well, it is raining on our parade, let's put it that way. I don't know if we're going to go or not. Stand by. Like so deep that you can't hear it, or is it out in the water and got washed in? I don't know. We inbound 26th Street in the rain, light mist. Can't even tell it's raining. So many people out here. Usually they'd be going in, into the rooms. <laughs> We're not the only time. Oh, damn, I can't believe it. I've never seen this many people out in the rain. You would never know it's raining. <laughs> Rain has really picked up. I mean, it's raining hard. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's putting it down pretty good. Almost mad. I have a ticket here or something. It's 1201. I don't know if it's, if it's real or not. Looks like gold to me. It's in the transition between the wet and the damp. Looks like it ought to have a mate somewhere. A quarter of a minute ago, was at my first talk, and now I got a 1207 here. Five inches. Now it's a 505. I think it's right there. I think it's junk now. Now it's jumped to 2905. I think I can see it right there. Stand by. I knew it was junk. I'm going to try and show you some nice 22K. I hope you can see it. I got one of them. I got that a penny and a quarter is all I got. Wow. I got a, I got a couple of earrings and a charm bracelet that 
junk strings up like a penny. I got a, I got two here. I got a junk earring. Yeah. I got a couple junk There's an umbrella taking off. Umbrella. Oh. There's a, there's a lady sitting right over there. You see her? That blanket. She got so much 22k on, and she go in the water, she drown. She, she, she never could even paddle. <laughs> Oh, they're right here where the shoulder is, right? Yeah, right there with that blue, yeah. right there. Yeah. And when you go by, you need to go by and take a look at her. <laughs> she got it everywhere, hands, rings, neck. I ain't kidding you, loaded with it. 12, 16, solid. One scoop deep. 12, 0, 7. Metal. Huh? Oh, metal. Metal. Gold ring. See, totally Watches, metal. sunglasses, cell phones, and ball caps. Oh. How does it sound when it? Different things it, sound different ways. Nice spine. Oh, that. Let me see, let me see, let me see. You want, you want it? It's worth five bucks someplace, maybe. <laughs> we have a lot of things in there. Huh? Do you have a lot of things in there? A what? You have a lot of things in there. No, I ain't found much in there. I only got like five. Well, the rain had stopped for about an hour. It's starting to sprinkle again now. You see, there's uh, plenty of depositors, just not many tickets. I just dug a pair of sunglasses, a pull tab. It's a bleak. However, there's no shortage of depositors. 12, 10, solid. Seven inches. <coughs> That's the deepest seven inches I ever seen. Looks like a bling earring to me. Hoop earring, huh? Well, five dollars, huh, two for five. Ooh, get gold up. man home. We looked at that little ring, it looks like it's 14k inside the one he found. It's got to be with a set, but we hunted for 40 minutes and never found a set. I mean the other half. Beaver is home. Beaver went this morning at uh, 2 o'clock a.m. low tide. Now he had a uh, Four or five pairs of sunglasses, almost six dollars in clad, thirteen earrings. What else he found? He found a ring. Yeah. Like a stain on steel. Stain on steel, some kind of ring. Almost six dollars in clad. Now that's me and Denny have been three or four times this week, and we ain't got six dollars of clad between <laughs> both of us. That's how much difference it was last night in twelve hours from when we went down there from when he was down there. That's the way that beach is sometimes. All beaches are that way, I guess. 
Man, that's that's man. We were he, he got us excited. We were going to go dig and go crazy, but we went crazy. All right. Beaver hunted the almost exact same area we hunted. He might have went three blocks further north than we did. We went to about 32nd or third. I think he even went as far as 30. I don't know. He said 34th or 37th. And then he went to the pier, which is 16th. Well, we went from 26 to 32nd, and then we were so disgusted we didn't go to the pier. We only went to uh, 18th Street, no, uh, 17th Street, and we turned around and hightailed it out of there. I don't know. The beach is amazing sometimes the way it does. Some of this $1.95 cent Wawa gas. Stand by. Nice, baby. Getting a little juice. Nice. That's right. Cheap $1.95 juice. Damn, all that rain. I got to cut the damn grass tomorrow. Look at it. Tall as marijuana some places. God. Look at it over there. Here's a, here's a super duper roundup. Platinum. The bling. Twenty nine cent. <laughs> That's hard to believe. You can go to the land of the Nile on the Fourth of July and find twenty nine cent. After Bieber went twelve hours before and found almost six dollars worth. You'll see Denny's nut. He's got a he got a lot more bottle caps than I got, and just a shade more change. But he did snuck out that little four, that little 14k. I think he said it weighed at 1.4 grams. But there's a picture of it, along with uh, beaver stuff from this morning. Okay, I might have to take a break tomorrow. I don't know if my nerves can take another day like this. But we'll have to see how the weather looks and how things go. Good luck to everybody. We'll see you on the next roundup or spin someplace. Now I got Denny's nut from today and his little gold ring and his chain and then we have Doc Beaver's stuff from the crack of dawn at 2 a.m. this morning. Over five dollars worth of change and tons of earrings and etc. Unbelievable.